Okay, we are traveling to Nalgonda by Chopper where uh, KT Ramarao is going to do the first of several rallies on what for him is an action-packed day. And uh, we're going to sort of raise all the big questions with him. KT Ramarao, uh, seven rallies you're doing in a day, virtually every day. Is that a sign in a way that you know this is a tough fight, that you need to travel to every piece of land of Telangana this time, between you, your father, your sister, y'all are trying to crisscross the state, tough fight ahead. Well, you know what, every election, we try and cover as much ground as possible, because that's our job, you know, you have to ensure that whatever good work you've done, or whatever your manifesto is, whatever you would like to do in the next five years, that has to be enunciated, that has to be spelled out to as many people as possible. So, in the last stretch before an election, last one week or ten days to an election, Every political party does that. That doesn't necessarily mean the election is tough or easy. It's our job, so we do it in the best possible way. The reason I'm asking you this is you're fighting history. No chief minister in South India ever, ever has won three elections in a row. So while you talk of a hat trick, it's never happened before. Well, KCRG has a uh, history of you know scripting a lot of new things in this uh, country. Now, no chief minister in the South or no leader in the South has been able to create a new state, a carve out a new state either. So for the first time in South India, a new state has been carved out since 1956. That was Telangana. And for the first time, KCR Garu will be scripting a new history as well by becoming a hat-trick chief minister. You know, the sense is though that this time the challenge, particularly from the Congress, is a tough one. Uh, the Congress seems to have a belief, particularly after Karnataka, it has the momentum. So I speak to congressmen and they say, we will do to TRS what we did to the BJP in Karnataka. How do you respond? Do you accept that the Congress is posing under Revan Reddy a huge challenge? The thing is, see, the elections are never about individuals. So I would not, uh, you know, give uh, you know any importance to any individual, especially one who's lost his own constituency in 2018. I don't think uh, he matters that much. But the fact is... You know, there's a saying in Hyderabad, Begana Shadi Me Abdullah Diwana. Matlab, Karnatak Me Jitne Se Yaha Kya Farak Padega? Karnatak Me Apne, that's a different battleground, it's a different opponent. Vaha Pe Thi, BJP, Yaha Pe Hai, BRS. Very, two, two very different uh, pitches, two very different uh, kind of teams you're facing. It's like facing uh, uh, India in Vankhede versus, uh, I think, uh, Sri Lanka in, uh, uh, I think, Chinnaswami Stadium. Very, two, two very different pitches, two very different teams. So to, to, to draw any kind of parallel is absurd. And secondly, we are a performing government. We have performed better than any other state in India in the last nine and a half years. Look at any indicator. We have done well. So there is no reason why Congress, which is a tried, tested and dusted commodity in Telangana, will be given another chance. Let's come to specifics. When I speak to the opposition leaders, they cite two or three reasons why they believe that TRS or BRS should be on its way out. Number one, they say... This is KCRs and family versus Janta. That this is family Raj. There's KCR, there's his son, that's you, there's daughter Kavita, there's his uh, nephew Harish Rao. All of you are running this government. People of uh, uh, Telangana have decided enough of family Raj. Well, this is being said from a podium where Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi are campaigning together. So isn't it, isn't it I think, uh, ironical and I think isn't, isn't it a big joke because... The same Congress party that has clearly said that Udaipur declaration will be honored for its own party ticket allotment cannot keep up its promises, you know, to its own people. No, but and, it's, not, it's not just the Congress. Even and, even Modi ji talks about family Raj, says it's time to end family Raj. And just because the Congress has a dynasty, why should KCR and family run the show? Telangana was not for one family, it was for the people. India was also not for one family. India was not also for Gandhi family, isn't it? They have been running, the, ruling the roost from 1952 until now. So again, I can say the same thing about Gandhi family. But it's not about one family versus another. See, two things. If Modi ji says it, it's even funnier. Because when he has Jyoti Raditya Sindhya, when he has Piyush Goel and a number of others, who are also products of nepotism and dynasty in his own party and in his own cabinet. And most importantly, you know, what is Amit Shah's son's uh, qualification to be BCCI General Secretary? You played some cricket. I don't think he did. 
I don't think. No, no, the the question is, is, was Telangana set up 10 years ago to promote KCR and family's yeah, interest? KCR's family didn't come in only after the formation of Telangana. We've been part and parcel of the agitation. We never ever in our wildest dreams assumed or believed that, uh, you know, there would be a time when I would become a minister. But the fact is, I'm elected by the people four times in a row now. This is my fifth election. The people are electing me. Last election, I won with 89,000 votes majority. So now the people are electing me in a democracy. What problems should the opposition have, especially those who lost their own battlegrounds in their own states? The second charge is corruption. Every time you speak to the opposition, they say, KCR's party has made huge amounts of money. It's money power on every project, especially irrigation projects, construction projects, land acquisition, large amounts of money have been made. It's the richest party in the country and according to Rahul Gandhi, the most corrupt. Well, Rahul Gandhi has this uh, uncanny habit of saying this about every opposition party he runs into. He goes to uh, Bengal, he calls Mamta Didi the same names. He goes to Delhi, he calls Kejriwal almost in a similar, calls him out almost on a similar ground comes to Hyderabad, again says the same thing, repeats the same thing. There is any substantive evidence of this purported alleged corruption. They should produce it in a court of law. They should go against us. They should ensure that the people actually understand that these are not baseless, silly, random charges. That's if the real issue is. There are no real issues for the opposition. There's no water crisis. There's no power crisis. There's no subsistence issues. There's not much of an issue with welfare. We've done very well on all indicators. Health, education, there is all-round development. As a result, when you run out of issues, you make fringe issues, you make non-issues, into more, you know, you make mountains out of molehills. That's what it is. No, you, you say evidence. They say, they point out to the Kaleshwaram project. What about it? They claim that large amounts of Claims. monies have been made. They are going to order, they say, if they come to power, a high court ordered inquiry into these charges. It won't... End here, they will produce the evidence which shows that they claim specific contractors were given large amounts of money and a cut was taken by your party in return. High court is not under the authority of a government. Congress when they come to power. Even when they come to power. They will have a retired Supreme Court judge if necessary. Even, even when they come to government, even if they come to government, I don't think it's in their hands to dictate to high court as to what judgment should be delivered. First, secondly, let me also point out Modi ji has been saying the same thing for the last nine and a half years. He's in power. He has all the institutions at his disposal. Let them prove something. Both Congress and BJP. Their common agenda is, both Rahul Gandhi's and Narendra Modi ji's. Their common agenda is, ki KCR ko Telangana mein khatam karo. Yehi pe awaz band karao taki ye bahar na jaye, Maharashtra na jaye. Dono ke liye phir maa pe ek challenge na post kare. Mukabla kahi na de. So ultimate agenda is, I'll come to that in a moment, KCR's ambitions beyond Telangana, but when on corruption, they say a number of your MLAs who were on scooters are now having a fleet of cars. Look at their asset growth. And there is some truth to it. You cannot deny that there is anti-incumbency against your MLAs because many of your MLAs are seen to have been corrupted by various government projects where the monies have gone to them. Rajdeep, let me tell you this. The PCC president here, was a wall painter 20 years ago. Today, he has purchased, and I, this is not me, his own colleague and a Congress MP has set this on record. He said PCC president has bought the post for 50 crore rupees. His own party members accuse him of selling tickets and they have gone to enforcement directorate to lodge a complaint. His own party is neck deep in corruption. National Herald is a classic example of what has been happening. Others, Beauforts, Commonwealth, I can go on. Point is, that's the Congress talking about corruption, BJP talking about corruption, irony has just died a billion deaths. They have any evidence, any iota of evidence. Let them substantiate, let them take action. Who's stopping them? Who is your main enemy in this election? Congress or BJP? You mentioned that both Congress and BJP want to finish the BRS. The Congress says that actually there is the BRS is working in tandem with, uh, with Modi ji. You all will fight together in 2024 and you are essentially in some kind of a partnership with Narendra Modi? Yeah, two things. One, we don't have any enemies as such. We have opponents. And I would say that both my opponents, Congress and BJP, are vying for the runner-up position. Good luck to both of them. I don't really, I mean, I don't really have an opinion on who should be the runner-up. I'm presuming it would be the Congress because BJP has really lost its game. The second thing I'll tell you, 
We have fought five elections, Rajdeep, so far, just being the fifth one, five general elections. We've aligned with two parties in the past. 2004, it was an alliance with Congress. 2009, it was an alliance with the Communists and the GDP. The last three elections, including this one, we're fighting alone. Not even in a local body election did we ever align with BJP. If the one charge they have against us, which they keep showing and pointing to as evidence that we are in cahoots with BJP, they keep saying that my sister has not been arrested. And let me ask you. In the Delhi liquor scam? Yes. That's what they claim. Now let me ask you. Neither did Rahul Gandhi nor did Sonia Gandhi get arrested in national arrest case. Is that evidence enough that... Uh, you know, because just because they have not been arrested, they are also hand in glove and complicit. No, no. The question is that enforcement directorate what, what, had questioned what, what, Kavita what, what, in March, April, and then the investigation went forward, even as Aadmi Party leaders were arrested. Rajdeep Sardesa, you should know better. So Kavita has gone to Supreme Court. Supreme Court has given a stay order until November 22nd. You should know better. No, no. The truth of the matter is not go cold. There is a stay. There is a Supreme Court stay. And that is why ED has had to soak it out. It no. was not by choice. But because Supreme Court ordered it. The question then arises, you are telling me no question of any alliance in the future with the BJP, not in 2024. There is no question that you will do some kind of a tie-up with the BJP. What makes you think we will? Because I just explained to you in last five general elections, we have never aligned with them. Secondly, let me also tell you, you should know a little bit more about Telangana. The two municipalities here, Bakhtal and Manikonda, Congress and BJP together have formed the together have formed the local body. Congress and BJP together have won three parliament elections here, three parliament seats: Adilabad, Nizamabad, and Karimnagar. Ask your people on the ground to get you a thorough report. No, the sense I'm getting from you is that you all believe that the world is against you in this election. Everyone has ganged up. So the problem in Delhi is Rajdi. You all think that Congress is sacrosanct. They're not. They're handing love with BJP in Telangana. It's a marriage of convenience for them. Wherever it they run into a stronger opposition. They'll align with the no, Dushman ka Dushman, those types. So my, my promise to you is this. The third charge they make is inaccessibility of the Chief Minister. The Chief Minister is a one-man show. He's very accessible to the people, doesn't meet them. Only at election time do you see KCR. Therefore, they are saying KCR has lost the connect that he once had with the people. Well, we, they've been saying this for the last 23 years. Nothing new. It's all, uh, you know, same old, same old. All I'm saying is, we'll prove all the naysayers wrong on the 3rd of December. We've heard this enough and more times. We, we'll prove all of the naysayers wrong. KCRG will score a hat-trick in 24 again in parliament elections. We'll make a very impactful debut in Maharashtra as well. You and I will be there, hopefully, to talk about it as well. Very interesting, you mentioned one of my home states, Maharashtra. You won a few Gram Panchayat seats, albeit not under the party symbol. But many believe that KCR has entered Maharashtra also to divide the opposition vote. You see, these are the charges made. What is the need to go to Maharashtra when you first need to consolidate yourself in Telangana? What, what was the need for Rahul Gandhi to contest from Kerala? What was the need for Narendra Modi to contest from UP? I mean, it's... So you were a regional party till the other day. Suddenly you change your name from Telangana Rashtra Samiti to Bharat Rashtra Samiti. You seem to have these grandiose ambitions that KCR can become a national leader. Why not? Why not? Why do you think two people or two parties are taken? Someone is taken in this country. Two parties, two parties, who have taken the whole world, the whole world, and have taken the whole world for 70 years. अगर कोई और मौका चाहता है कोई और ये चाहता है कि मैं अपने राज्य से बाहर आके मैं जो किया हूँ तेलंगाना में बाहर रेप्लिकेट करूँ तो क्या क्या गलती है उसमें नो नो सो आई यू सेइंग दैट इन 2024 इफ यू विन तेलंगाना यू विल फॉर्म योर ओन फ्रंट यू विल नॉट बी पार्ट ऑफ द इंडिया फ्रंट नो विल यू बी पार्ट ऑफ द एनडीए एम आई करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली वी हैव अ मेंटेन इक्विडिस्टेंट रिलेशनशिप विद बोथ बीजेपी एंड कांग्रेस सिंस 2014 द सेम विल कंटिन्यू there are 13 parties with a neither, neither neither of those two camps, neither with NDA nor with INDIA. My humble request to you and the viewers also is: this country, India, is not bipolar. Na to ye Rahul ka desh hai, na Modi ka desh hai. Ye desh har kisi ka hai. Isliye ham mante hain ki ham bhi agar 25-30 seat jeet ke aayenge Delhi, to kya pata? Yehi log puttno pe aake hamare paas aaye kisko mal? You know, you keep mentioning Rahul Gandhi time and again. What's your problem? You seem to have some kind of a problem with Rahul Gandhi. The Gandhi family or the Congress also claims 
they are the ones who gave telangana you got telangana when you were tying up with the upa at the time and they gave you telangana and here you are attacking the gandhi family time and again kyo itna why so much of anger against the gandhi family two things one if lord mount batty comes alive today and says that humne azadi de diya hindustan ko kaisa lagega rajdi galat lagega na kis azadi di nahi jaati hai chini jaati hai telangana kisi ne di nahi हमने छीनी है पहली बार पहली बार दूसरी बार बचपन साल मौका मिलने के बाद आफ्टर 55 इयर्स एट द हेल्म ऑफ अफेयर्स इन न्यू दिल्ली एंड इन हैदराबाद व्हाट हैज द कांग्रेस डिलीवर्ड डिडली स्क्वाड ऑब्वियसली द एंगर ऑफ पीपल ऑफ दिस नेशन इज अगेंस्ट द वाइट एलिफेंट कॉल्ड कांग्रेस बीइंग एन इंडियन आई हैव एट मोस्ट एन अ विसरल यू नो आई वुड कॉल इट हेट्रेड बट फॉर लैक ऑफ अ बेटर वर्ड आई विल से दैट विसरल डिसलाइक for this grand old party which is single handedly destroyed this nation this grand old party which you had allied with at the center yes. and which in a way gave you know you Sorry. say Sorry. you snatched it away but the fact is it was announced when the upa was in power you got telangana it was a political compulsion you know jagan mohan reddy had created his own party in andhra and he had literally taken away the entire congress party's leadership along with him congress was left with no choice but to deliver telangana we had believed that a political compulsion will confer will be conferred on the national political system and that's how telangana will come about that's exactly how we achieve it. what's the main reason you think people will vote for you this time a third time because as i said anti incumbency is not easy to beat what is it is it welfare schemes is it cash handout many people say all that you're doing now in this last stage through your various schemes right the bandhu dalit bandhu uh, uh, shaadi mubarak you want to in a sense Throw cash handouts at people, hoping that that will ensure you re-election. Have you seen the Congress manifesto? They are okay. competing with you. You are no, both no, competing sorry, with no, each no, other on cash handouts. How are you different? I wish they were competing with me. They are not competing with me. They are probably looking to combine about ten states' budget and probably you know promising the moon and trying to snatch away, just like you said. Fact is, Rajdeep, we are the state with the highest per capita income in the country today. We are the state with the highest GDP growth in the country today. we are the state which produces highest technology jobs in the country today we are the state which is highest per capita power consume consum- consumption in the in the country today we are number one in paddy production we are number one in forest cover growth we have done truly well in holistic development people will vote for forming governments people will vote for progress that single one single reason if i have to give people will vote for progress not congress you know you are you are a finance man you know your numbers your debt your debt is huge feel like 50000 you've got a huge deficit because of these various schemes that you pumped money in i'm sorry you feel that way the fact is we are the first state in india to have completed a portable drinking water connection to each and every home that inspired modi ji to launch har ghar jal that's a different story we've invested in product productive sectors rajdeep we've borrowed money we've invested in productive sectors we've invested in drinking water we've invested in power infrastructure our power infra rose from 7000 megawatt of installed capacity to 24000 megawatts our irrigation sector today has done brilliantly and that's why we are the leader in the country with the granary of india now we, we surpassed punjab and haryana the traditional you know rich uh, farmer belts so these are no mean achievements in the last 6 and 1/2 years because you know you take away 2 years of covid literally what we were left with was 6 and 1/2 years in 6 and 1/2 years what telangana has done is truly astounding and you'll see that coming through So, what's your narrative for this election? Last time you had said Congress and TDP are hand in glove. This entire, you know, you had created Andhra versus Telangana. What's your big narrative for 2023? Vote for progress, not Congress. The antonym of progress is Congress. You know, while Raven Threadi is one of, uh, while Rahul Gandhi is one of your opponents, your other big one is Raven Threadi. And when I spoke to Raven Threadi, he said that uh, if uh, the TRS loses, BRS loses. KTR will go back to the United States. He won't even stay in India. He will, he will leave the country. How do you respond? What do you want to tell him? Well, I wish him luck in winning his own constituency. He lost last time. He's going to be beaten badly this time. Sir. You're not leaving uh, Telangana. Yeah. Win or lose, you're here to stay. I tell you what. I don't dignify such a third-rate human being. He's a third-rate human being. He was caught with money in the bag openly, and uh, you know he sells his tickets of his party to. Highest bidder, you know, such undignified, uncouth, uh, third-rate criminals. I don't respond. One final question: Are you the heir apparent after KCR? Who is it? KTR. Even a couple of years ago, I heard 
you might be taking over. You run the government. Your father is the mascot. You run the government. How true is that? No, absolutely not. In fact, uh, I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm under no illusion. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm wise enough to know better that there are many, many competent. There are many, many smart people who may not have a, a blood connection with our chief minister, but there are many, many smart people out there. Any of them could succeed him. It's not like you know there is heir apparent just because I'm. A Are you the heir apparent? No, that's what I'm saying. There are many smart people in my party. Anybody can be a heir apparent. I am not under no illusion. I'm not delusional. You think that I'm a heir apparent just because I'm his son? My my humble request. This state and what it has achieved under KCR is truly stupendous. And what I would love for you to see is go around and do some positive stories because you know the national media in Delhi, unfortunately. Doesn't give us much attention. You seem to obsess and focus more on unnecessary fringe elements. Oh come on! You know the one thing we we give, you have large front uh, ad advertisements and. How are you? Have to cover majburi. Acha majburi me. Because you have to cover. नहीं करते हो क्या करें? आपको cover नहीं करते. आप ये भी नहीं cover करेंगे. अरे बिल्कुल cover करेंगे. K T Ramarao, you are as always combative. We'll now see you uh, on the stage. In more combative mode. In a even more combative mode. K T Ramarao. In many ways, he may not admit it. But he is the man who does the nuts and bolts of uh, the BRS's functioning. Sir, sir, sir. Anyway, you organize very, very large road shows, well-oiled machine. How much does it cost to run the machine? All kinds of figures, from 10 crores to 50 crores per constituency. How much are you spending? 40 lakh rupees. You are well within the election commission limits. How much? You are well within the election commission limits. You are not spending 10 to 15 crores. You are well within the election commission. Come on. We have a strong cadre of 60 lakh people. We have a strong cadre base of 60 lakh. So when I am told you are spending upwards of 50 crores per constituency, we are spending as much as the Congress and the BJP. Whatever they are spending, they are spending. Okay. As you can see, the BRS surely knows how to put on a political road show. Is it enough though for the party to get that hat trick? That only the voter can tell.